What's going on guys? So this is going to be, hands down, the most difficult battle review I think I've ever done on my channel. Because both of these fragrances are so damn good, it's going to be pretty damn hard to recommend which one is the overall best that you should go with between the original Mancera Cedrat Boise and the new Intense Cedrat Boise. Let's break it down into a few categories. Let's pick a favorite. Stay tuned. So when it comes down to scent, I'll have both note breakdowns on screen for you guys. There is differences, there is similarities. The original Cedrat Boise is one of the most versatile complement magnet, best way to start dipping your toe into niche fragrances that money can buy. I have it on this hand. It's bright, it's fruity, it's fresh, it's full of citrus, it's got a nice woodiness to it. It's a little spicy, but not much. As I've described it many times in the past, it's like a wicker basket full of fruits. Because you literally have fruity notes, a multitude of citruses, and the way the cedar comes across, it's got this dry wicker wood type of smell when mixed with it. It's the most simplest way to describe it, basket full of wicker basket full of fruits. It's incredible. It's my default answer when somebody asks me what's the best and safest niche fragrance to start with. It's always this one. Because this will work for everything. It's great as an everyday wear. It's great as a date night fragrance. It's great in the evenings. It's great in the summer heat. It's great in the winter cold. Just smells great. Now, in regards to the new Intense Cidrap Boise. So this picked up the ball and ran with it. This is an extrait de parfum, 45% oil concentration. This stuff leaves a sheen on your skin. As you can see, I've had this spray on my hand for a while too. What's different here is it's not a basket full of fruits, okay? It does change. It does smell very similar, bordering the redundancy of being too redundant to the original. But here it's this fresh cut lemon smell with this tart and bitter very bitter black currant note at the top. It's it's actually quite lovely. I, it takes a similar tone, but not quite the same. I like that about it. So you still get some fruitiness and some citrus, but it's a little bit more refined. It's got a little bit more of a serious edge to it in the top. And then as it starts to settle, the Cambodian, Cambodian oud here, I don't really get a strong oud type of smell. What I do get is more of this buttery suede leather type of smell. There's a little bit of spiciness here from the moss and it doesn't come across as too much leather or too much spice. It's pretty well balanced here. You get a little bit of a warm wood smell and there's a little bit of a muskiness, an animalic tone to the heart and dry down of this fragrance. I don't know if it's from the oud mixing with the leathery note, or or really exactly what it is, that's what I would attribute it to, because it has a little bit of that musky smell to it, that musky suede smell, and it's actually quite lovely. Like I said, this is a little bit more of a serious take on the scent profile. It's refined. You do lose some of the freshness of the original because it's such a high oil concentration, and it is a much more dense scent profile with the oils that were used to make the scent in the first place let alone the higher oil concentration. So when it comes down to which one smells better, damn, this is hard. This is the hardest part of the video, the hardest category, because honestly, they're both freaking amazing in my personal opinion. I'm glad to have both. I don't recommend you get both though. So we have to pick a winner when it comes down to it. I think if you're looking for the freshness, you need the original, but if you're looking for the best version of the scent because it's just, you still smell the original, you don't lose all of the freshness, 
Mm, it's so hard to go with intense Sidrap Boise because it does smell incredible, but I think gun to my head, the clear cut winner, it's just hard to beat the smell of the original Sidrap Boise. Now comes the big one, performance. So I can tell you guys right now without even looking at the original, intense Sidrap Boise outperforms it hands down. Longevity, projection, Siage is ridiculous. The trail on this is ridiculous. That high oil concentration. Yes, in the beginning, this is going to project a little bit more because it's a lighter, airier scent. So the first 30 minutes or so of this will reach out further to grab people. But this is such a dense and strong fragrance that it, you have an almost overwhelming bubble around you for a long, long time long time this is easily a 12 plus hour fragrance and longevity the projection is on the moderate to heavy side early on but the sillage is on the heavy side this is not a moderate sillage not moderate to mild like a lot of my recent review fragrances have been this is a heavy sillage the scent bubble that's going to surround you after the projection calms down and the trail that you have when you walk by people is very strong I have gone anosmic to this scent pretty much every single time I've worn it early and within the first hour to where I can't smell it for a little while. And then hours into the life of the fragrance, I'll get strong, very strong, dense scent cloud whiffs coming off of my skin of this fragrance. So hands down across the board, the performance is better with intense Cidrap Boise. It's no contest. Overall versatility, this is an important category, I believe just as much as performance, because I know a lot of people deem performance to be even more important than the scent category, though I think scent's always A number one, you have to love how it smells, otherwise it doesn't matter if it's an hour or 20 hours, gotta love the way it smells. So the versatility here, this is where it gets a little interesting, because even though this is so dense, heavy, and warm, I still feel like this can be pulled off in high heat, just not as well as the original. The original is the best of all season appropriateness when it comes to this scent profile. Like I said, yes, this will work fine in the summer. Just easy on the sprays because this will get ridiculous in high heat, high humidity. It, it absolutely will. But spring, fall, winter... This is going to outshine because of its performance and the depth to the scent. There's a different type of scent profile character to this that's a, a little lacking from the original. But this works in more situations, in more settings, and shines more in the summer than the intense. And just as well, pretty much just as well, in the other seasons like spring, fall and winter and again this dresses up this dresses down you can wear this with a tank top or a sleeveless shirt all the way up to a nice suit and tie this is going to work in every situation while the intense pretty much does just about everything this can do some things a little better unfortunately for the intense there's some things it does a little bit worse than Cedrat Boise and with a lot of fragrance lovers being in warmer climates you're going to want the versatility of the original Overall, what is the one? If you're only going to get one, which one? Because there's stronger attributes to each. And like I said in the beginning of the video, this is the hardest breakdown battle I've ever had to do between two fragrances because they're both so good. So good. Both at minimum 8.5 to 9 out of 10 fragrances overall, according to my rating system. But... Because of the enhanced versatility factor, even though you're getting four, five, even maybe even six more hours of performance, depending on your skin, from Intense Cidrat Boise, and the sillage is crazy good, you can always just spray a little bit heavier to get a higher density, more desired performance from the original Mancera Cidrat Boise. As much as it pains me to pick a winner between these two, because they are just both so damn good. The original Cidrat Boise Eau de Parfum. I think if you're only going to get one, this is still the way to go. You can still get this one pretty affordable for most discounters. You're going to pay well under $100 for most discounters. This is still at retail in most places. You can get it with 10% off in, uh, in the description. 
um, if you're ready to pull the trigger on this one, because look, my choice for the overall winner is Sidrat Boise because of the versatility. But here's the caveat. If you're looking for that beast, you need the intense. If you're looking for the beast, you want the intense. But if you want maximum versatility, and I mean, it's... I don't want to say no contest, but this is kind of the clear-cut winner in versatility. It, wor it works that much better in every situation, whereas the Intense works well in every situation, just not as well. So the overall winner, like I said, for me, Sid Rapoise, the EDP. But if you need the performance, if you desire the performance, and performance is A number one, the Intense is going to be the choice for you. Well, that was tougher than you may realize to pick a winner between these two because they're both so damn good. They really are. I'm going to wear them for different situations. Uh, cooler weather, more formal situations, I'm going to go with the intense. More casual situations, warmer weather, I'm going to go with the original. I have both. I'm going to wear both. I love both. You can't go wrong with either one of these, trust me. Uh, and until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have both? How many of you have at least tried both? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? What do you think is different from my assessment? It's all subjective and it's all opinions. I'd love to hear what some of you guys think. Uh, and until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either one and you give them a spray now, I'm confident you'll thank me later. These suckers are bad. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.